In this video, we are going to discuss about multiple inheritance in Java using interface. So when I was discussing about inheritance, I have told that we cannot implement multiple inheritance in Java because in Java, the programming language is unable to utilize this feature directly. It can be achieved indirectly with the uses of interfaces. Why? Because object-oriented programming provides the user the feature of multiple inheritance wherein a class can inherit the properties from more than single parent class. That means such kind of inheritance such as if there is a class A and there is also a class B, then it can inherit the properties, the C class, the child class can inherit the properties from both the parent classes. So this is not supported in Java, the multiple inheritance as it creates a diamond problem. So to resolve this problem, we have interfaces in Java. So interface actually helps the user to utilize the feature of this multiple inheritance. And how can you do that? You can just create two interfaces. Let's say you create two interfaces A and B and then implement those particular features in the C that is the child class. For that we use the keyword implements. We use the keywords implement for inheritance. How can we do that? Let's say that these two are interfaces A and B. So I can write like this that class C implements the two interfaces which I have created. Let's say A comma B. So this is how it can be done. All the methods and all the constructor or all the member functions which are there in both the interfaces A and B can be implemented in the C class with the help of interfaces. One more thing about this implementation of interface that we here use a super keyword. While doing the program, I'll also explain that. The super keyword is used to call any method of the interface. This particular keyword is used to call the method which are there in any of the interface. So this keyword is actually used, super keyword is used to call the method which are there in any interface while we are implementing the program. So let's see how can we do that, how can we implement a program with the help of interfaces. Firstly you can see how to create an interface, you have to do nothing, just you have to click on the package in which you are working. You in new you have to select here you can go and select a interface you can name the interface to create any particular java interfaces let's say in the package p2 firstly i have created one interface interface 1.java and in that i have used a void display method and what is it printing when this particular method is used it is printing that system dot out print method of interface one that this is the method of interface one this display method similarly i have created another interface interface two and what this method is going to print that it is the method of interface two no changes the method name is same the name is display method only in case of multiple interfaces with the same name but default method. Next, I have created a Java class. Here you can see example one dot Java. Now what I have done here is, firstly, I have declared the interface with the help of classes that public class example one implements is the keyword I have used and the two interfaces which I have implemented are interface one, interface two. Then I have declared one display method. Here you can see that it is showing you that this void display method, it overrides from p2 dot interface one display. Okay, so after declaring this display method, it is going to print that it is the display method, but it is going to override the display methods of both the interface one and interface two. Next, I have declared another method that is public void show. Now this show method, what it is going to do when this particular show method is called of this class, firstly, it is going to interface dot super dot display. I have said you about the super keyword. This super keyword is used to call the method, any method. Here it is display method. It used to call the display method of both the interface, which we have created later on. Whenever the show method is called, it is going to display firstly of interface one and then of interface two. So how we create an object, it is quite in use now and we have done so many programs that we can create object with the help of new keyword. The class name example one obg is equals to new example one and obg.show. I have called this show 
method. Now, as I run this particular program, firstly, it will display the method of interface one. And then here you can see that it has called the method of interface one and then the method of interface two. And it has displayed whatever we have written in the system dot out print and statement of both the interfaces. So this is how interface actually work in Java. And it is actually the implementation of multiple inheritance only. You can see that this particular example one is implementing the methods or any other functions which you can mention from the interfaces that is interface 1 and interface 2. So by the end of this video we have studied how can we implement multiple interface in Java with the help of several interfaces and how can we actually do the programming for multiple inheritance.